I'm the nigga they talk about. Hey, the Chico, get out my nigga. y'all get a, 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 a peep on these comments that they talking about right here here we go first comment I really appreciate this video let me make sure the comments is correct let I this is Langston Williams I really appreciate this video because I've been seeing these same tactics with a lot of the LDBC videos they are creating false narratives to generate views because because what they be saying just isn't true. And truth is a God force. He gets a like. JMXD21. He's saying this was much needed, bro. These dudes are biased. And they are starting to get ridiculous. Fanon was saying Crawford was scared of Gary Russell. And that Crawford should have taken that fight. Can you believe that BS? Yeah, I can because people just be talking. But then on the same sense, he was saying that Gary Russell wasn't ducking Danny, Devin Haney. But then you want to say that uh, Bud is ducking Gary Russell? But then you didn't say Haney is ducking Russell. However he said it. Then we got basically what JMXD21 is saying is that Terrence Crawford is not scared of Gary Russell. He's a 126 pounder. He's not ducking a fight. So, but then you said, Fanon said he should take the fight. But then when Devin Haney and Gary Russell bought the fight and they not making the fight, then he's saying Gary Russell is not ducking Devin Haney. But Terrence Crawford is ducking Gary Russell. That don't make sense. And he had to go back on all of that and stop that because he was he didn't want to put it out there that Gary Russell is ducking and all of that and not taking scraps. And... The reason why is he said that Floyd was using these guys as a cat's paw. And my statement was, if he's using these guys as a cat's paw, then he's also using Earl Spence as a cat's paw because he doesn't want that fight to take place because Earl Spence isn't technically as good as a Terrence Crawford, considering Terrence Crawford is on a pound-for-pound -pound list. And he's a three-time division world champion, undisputed at 140. Next one. Errol Spence and Sean Porter sold the same amount as Errol and Mikey. So how is that Mikey carried the Spence pay-per-view? The reason why he carried the Spence pay-per-view is because Spence had never done a pay-per-view. His first pay-per-view was with a Mexican and Mikey Garcia because he has a larger fan base than Errol Spence. That's a fact. So then when you run it back on the second pay-per-view, he a capture due to him being beating Mikey Garcia. He captured some of Mikey Garcia's fans. And then he started his own pay-per-view in Dallas. Well, not in Dallas, in Vegas with Sean Porter, who fights like a black Mexican or has the stereotypical come forward Mexican style. Like... He has an aggressive style. I'm not wrong for saying that. So when you put those two together, you're going to get a war because Spence likes to go forward. That makes a good pay-per-view. But if you would have, but he, Spence said Sean Porter couldn't sell out a chicken dinner. So he had to go with the pay-per-view with, with um, Mikey Garcia first 
so that he can build his numbers up using Mikey Garcia's fan base, then double back and do it with Sean Porter. He didn't do Sean Porter first. That's why you're wrong. He said, you are completely wrong on that Baphomet subject. Stay tuned. I'm going to school you on it. Shaking my head. No real knowledge. This is TJ Sports Nation. He has no idea what he's talking about, about the Baphomet and the religion of, a, of the Baphomet. It's not Satan. It's not none of that. He wanted to go and talk about Catholicism, which isn't, wasn't even a first religion. It was a hybrid religion of other religions. I went to Catholic school. I know that. I study religion. He's wrong. He has no bars. And I, cause I, as a matter of fact, I call Floyd Mayweather the the boxing Baphomet because he knows how he knows how to solve and coagulate. If you look at the Baphomet, he has a ram head. A ram head with women breasts, which symbolizes duality, and he's sitting in a yoga position. So that lets you know what he's doing. He's in a meditative position or a yoga position. Secondly, one arm is up like this and one arm is down like this. On his arm right here, it says solve or, or solution or solvent, which means a solution or to break down. And then on the second, it means coagulate, which means to bring together. Floyd is the best at business and boxing. Shout out to Ben Bautista. He was the first work person to recognize, or not the first person, but he was the first person to tell me that it's two different things with boxing. It's business and boxing. Floyd is one of the best businessmen, if not the best, and he's one of the best boxers of all time. So then he knows how to solve or break you down and then put it together to beat you. That's why he's the rap Baphomet. That's bars. Secondly, not secondly, but um, Gino Whitset said, cooking with extra garlic butter. Good ish, bro. Good looking, fam. Second, he's uh, Dre League. He said, God bless you, champ. God bless you too. Good looking. Um, we got Boxing Fitness. Salam, Brother Troy. Hey, salam to you. As-salam, Malaykum. May peace be upon you also. Playback gang. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. Then we got um, Salute to C.A. Uh, Bugs, Kabooks, um, Armani Rivera. He said, at 4330, you said Earl hasn't be better people on his resume. Name one person on Crawford's resume better than Mikey Garcia. Name one person on Crawford's resume better than Sean Porter. Uh, I'm going to name one person, and y'all going to be mad at this. But I'm going to go on this box rec while we on here so you can see why I'm saying this. Hold on, we going to box rec real quick. We gonna go box rec. Ricky Burns. Okay, it says Ricky Burns is a Scottish professional boxer. Hey, them Scottish, they really got some good boxers, if I'm not mistaken, because um, what's dude's name before Regis Pro Gray? Uh, Josh Taylor, I think. He, he, I think he from, he's Scottish, too. He said he is one of the only three British boxers that have won world titles in three weight divisions. He won world titles in three weight divisions. Let's go to Ricky. Let's go to his box rec. Ricky Burns is 43 and 8 with 16 knockouts and has is a three-time world champion. I don't know nobody on Earl's resume besides Mikey Garcia that's a three-time world champion. 
Hold on. We going we going we keep going. Hold on one second. Hold on. We looking for Terrence Crawford's resume real quick. We going to go to Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford beat Ricky Burns, who's a three-time world champion. He also beat um That was pretty much the only person on Terrence Crawford's resume that's better or equivalent to Mikey Garcia. Sean Porter was only a unified champion. That was it. IBF and I think the WBC or WBA. No, WBC. My bad. Um, Amir Khan is a two-time world champion. Uh, that is an equivalent to Sean Porter. Now listen, I know Amir Khan be getting stopped and all of that, but we talking about the equivalent. So we're going to go right back to his question so we can really break it down. He's saying who you said 43-30. You said Earl hasn't beat better people on his resume. Name one person on Crawford's on, on Crawford's resume better than Mikey Garcia. Ricky Burns is just as good as Mikey Garcia because he's a three-division world champion. And when he went overseas to beat him in his hometown, where not on even just overseas, period, and at that time, Ray Beltran had actually beat um, Ricky Burns and they cheated him. So to actually beat Ricky Burns, you had to actually whoop him. He whooped a three-time division world champion overseas. Secondly, um, he said, name one person. I did that. And Sean Porter was a unified champion, which is a, a is a, he unified two belts. And Amir Khan was also a, a two-time world champion, if I'm not mistaken. Because so was Andre Berto. Floyd said that. And I'm not saying Andre Berto is one of the opponents or nothing like that. I'm stating that Amir Khan is a two-time world champion and Sean Porter is a unified world champion. So that their accolades match up. I'm sorry. That's just a fact. We on to the next. So you 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 was wrong, bro. You wasn't all the way wrong, but I just named you. And that's Armani Rivera. I, I just showed you where we at. This is going to be a quick one. We doing it quick. We in 12 minutes in. Somebody said, do you still box, bro? I said, um, my man, easy life. I said, sparring, but no more fights. He said, hey, brother, I don't see you on Egos Boxing anymore. Will you guys ever make a video again? That's the question you got to ask my man, Ego, because I never had a problem with Ego. He just got, he just disappeared. I don't know, bro. These, listen, I live in the Bay. It's in Oakland, bro. Oakland, San Francisco, Richmond, parts of like little, like San Jose, you could throw in there, but it ain't really the Bay. Um, Vallejo, you know, all the surrounding areas. Listen, these people out here is weird, dog. They weird. They different. They, 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 they definitely weird. So I don't know why Ego was doing what he was doing. Whatever he was doing, he made his little guap and kept it pushing. But dude is kind of weird. So I don't know. You know, some of these people is, is weirdos. Y'all have to ask Ego that. I don't know what's wrong with Cousin. He said, Ego, Ego, well, I, we ain't here to bash nobody, but he said he always trying to be funny with um analogies every two seconds 95 bs five percent boxing the moment anyone shows intelligence he plays stupid immediately blocks you or asks the army his stance to agree with everything he's saying yeah man that's his, that's just on them blog people bro i don't do all that because i don't have time to be doing all of that like i just really be chilling like like, I really don't be, I, my channel is 90% boxing and 10% all that other stuff, dog. Because people are here to learn about boxing first. You feel me? Like, 
they on here to really learn. Like, I'm not trying to be on here making jokes and doing all of that. If you want to make jokes, you go to somebody else's joint and you can make jokes over there. Over here, we talking about technical boxing inside and outside the ring and the technical business of it. So, um, he said he'd be on 95% BS and 5% boxing. Like, hey, some of this is, uh, some of this is like a reality show for people. For real, for real. They still on here commenting, which is, they just don't get it. Then dude. Do and somebody else came in and said, uh, be more gorillas. Shout out to Baltimore. He said, facts. I'm glad you called out those fake boxing TMZ channels, except Fanon. You know what? Fanon is actually a good brother. Like, even though you block me on your joint and I don't get that, but you know, that's just, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's a corny move because some of y'all corny. But Fanon is highly intelligent on business as what it, business attributes. Like he's done. I've watched his videos. He's you know his pops work for mad corporations at high the highest levels you can work. He has too. So when it comes to business, he understands negotiating and business, and that's why I go to his channel. But all the other extras, I'm not there for. I used to donate to cousin, but he blocked me from donating. Explain it. I don't know. So next, we got Bars is back. Thanks, family. You already know what it is. Um, we keep the bars coming, dog. Um, then we got Spence. Uh, SB said, Spence did good numbers with Porter, though. He did. I was at the fight. Eighth row. It was lit. 60-40 isn't crazy for Spence. It is crazy. Let me tell you why 60-40 is crazy. Because... Floyd knew because he used the cat's paw. So when Spence said 60-40, Fanon let me know what's going on. The cat's paw. See, that's what y'all problem is. I'm a pro, but y'all don't want to listen to pros. So I'm going to use Fanon's logic because he was a professional negotiator and a professional businessman. The cat's paw. Floyd is using Earl and all these other people as a cat's paw to grab it to the mouth. So basically, he's using them as puppets. And he's the puppeteer. Like, he's the master puppet. Master. And then those people are just the puppets. Floyd is the puppet master. Floyd and Al Heyman are the puppet masters. And he's controlling these other guys. Let me tell you. Soon as he called and, 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 and. He asking him about, you know, well, I want to fight you for this. Then it's some, you know, when they met in person, they talking, they, you know, putting on, they people taping it. He comes back and says, well, let me get this win. Let's get this work. Well, if you want to interrupt my plans, it's 60-40. That was a Floyd move because he know Crawford was going to say 50-50. The reason why 60-40 is crazy is because... Even though Errol Spence was an Olympian, Terrence Crawford has more boxing professional accomplishments. What's up with Bay Boo Boo? I'll be out in a minute. It's all good. He has more boxing professional accomplishments. So Earl was an Olympian. Olympians usually get first dibs because they did most on the front end. So when you come out of the come out of the Olympics, then that's when you get the most money first, you know, blah, 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 blah. You get signed first, all of that. So as you coming up, they're going to feed you and move you accordingly because you were not, you was an Olympian and they invested a lot of money in you. So when they invested a lot of money in you, they're going to move you accordingly. They're going to put you in there with the right competition. So that's, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, that's not the all end all be all when it comes to negotiating or when it comes to the 60-40 because Ter 
Terrence Crawford wasn't a, wasn't an Olympian, but he has more professional accomplishments. Those are facts. He's a three-time world champion. He's undisputed at 140, and he's a 47-pound champion. 50-50 is all you can get at that point. You know what I mean? 55-45, but 50-50 is it. You know what I mean? That That is actually not a good one, bro. Um... Buzz numbers have been trash. I don't see how you think you won that argument. Because two pay-per-views, as I explained earlier in the video, does not outweigh a three-time world champion. One A and one A or one one and one A on a pound for pound list with Canelo and being undisputed at 140. That that just doesn't make sense. Okay? Because Terrence can put butts in seats too. He just because his numbers was trash don't mean it, and then they wasn't totally totally trash. If you would have put him in there with the right fighter of a Mexican fighter on a Mexican holiday, Terence Crawford will have the same numbers because he gonna stop somebody. So just to say that is just it's just a clown move. You you can't really say that. You know what I mean? You can't say that at all. And then last but not least, DG. Come on, or whatever he, his name is. He said, we're going to go back. In the, in, the, in the video, I said, joining the gang is stupid because when somebody up a pipe or pull out a strap, everybody run their own way. The gang don't come together and say, shoot us in solidarity. Everybody run. All right. That was the one of the number one reasons my mom said, hey, Hey, blood, don't join no gang. You can do your dirt on your lonely because you a leader. You know what I mean? This man says, why you join Islam if your mama said, be your own man and don't join a gang? Do I really need to talk about that? Because Islam is not a gang, dummy. Come on, bro. If you really want to learn something, learn. Don't use your own ideologies to validate your stupidity because you want to be in the gang, bruh. The LDBC ain't got nothing to do with Islam, dog. That, that's, that's, they, that don't have nothing to do with it. If you want to be a part of that and be a follower, that's good. It's, and my mom also said this. It's nothing wrong with being... No, my mom didn't say this. My mom said, you the oldest, you always going to be a leader. But I double back because sometimes when you're trying to be a leader, you don't know which way to lead. So to understand how to be a leader, you also have to be a student. You have to be a good follower. You don't you have to know who to follow. That's a fact. You can't just follow anybody. You should know who to follow. So that when it's your time to be a leader, you are learned how to be a good leader. If you got horrible parents. And your parents was out here pimping and uh, selling weight out in the streets. What you think you going to do? Them ain't good people to follow, even if they're your parents. But if your parents have some type of morals, standard tradition, values, cultural traditions, then, of course, you will follow them. Hey, don't ever bring up Islam in a conversation again with me. That'll get you blocked from the channel. Don't ever do that. That's stupidity. Don't ever bring up Islam to validate your stupidity with worldly things. Don't ever do that. That's stupid. And you putting yourself in a box by doing that. Don't ever compare a man to Allah. That's just, that's dumb. Don't do that again. Don't ever do it again. That's dumb. So, um, those are some of the things that I wanted to say about the video today. We still got people in here. Um, okay, DJ K Man said this again. He said he he just keep, he wants to talk. So he said, Troy King, you're trying to be relevant by starting stuff for other channels. Stay on your own because you're being no different from than the others you talk bad about. I'm not talking bad about nobody because I'm not creating narratives, dummy. That's when you just got to shut up and sit down. I just put you in the bag, DK, DG, or whatever your name is. Hey, bro, you really got to just shut up, all right? 
I'm no I'm the go to this. If you didn't realize that every boxing channel been watching me when I was on somebody else's channel, Ego's channel, turning his channel up. You forgot? When I was doing this, it wasn't no LDBC, bro. You can just go peep the videos. That that's just a fact. They didn't exist. Because the man who started the LDBC named Kevin helped me start my channel. Because I didn't know how to start a channel. And then when I, his name, Town Business and 7 A Sports, I was on the phone with both of them. He helped me start my channel. Then after I started my channel, years later, a couple years later, he started the LDBC. That's how it worked, bruh. He, that didn't even exist. You wrong, shut up. This is, that was it, bro. I ain't about to keep harking on you. If you keep with the comments, I'm going to just block you, bro. Because I know you know what, I'm going to let you eat. And I'm going to just keep bodying you so I can have content. So just, so just to say, I'm trying to be relevant. I don't need to do that, bro. I'm already relevant. Like, I, I got an interview with Dame Lillard on my channel. Is you stupid? Man, some of these people on these blogs, listen, if you want to be a real one, do what you do. When you go to follow somebody, once they start the clown business, not the town business, the clown business, then that's when you have to be a leader and be like, hey, bro, what we doing? Because these is we doing this for money or is we doing this because because the other platforms is doing racist things. I get it. The LDBC was invented. To do to to battle racism against boxers that on on and NPBC or that was with Golden Boy because they wasn't treated fairly due to the color of their skin. I get it, but when you take on ideologies of the colonizer, then you become just like him because you're creating false narratives just like the ESPNs and all of them, and not even the ESPNs, just the other blogs and the other. Just mass media, period. To, to be different, you don't be like the westernized colonizer. Okay? That's just a fact. To do what they doing, creating false narratives and having your all your people in your community create these narratives as a group. Because at some point, you're going to have black fighters against black fighters. So now you want to do it with PBC against the world. It don't work like that because now if you're trying to uplift black fighters, you even if they with top rank or disown, you taking money out of their mouth by creating false narratives. And then people are not going to tune in. So that's why it's clown business. You shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? When you come on my channel, it's neutral. I'm talking about technical boxing. If you don't have defense and you boxing, for example, if you if you ain't moving your head like this and you just boxing like this, I'm going to tell you, Arthur, Arthur, um, what's his name? Arthur Abraham, the fall Andre Ward, high guard defense. Did it work? It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Winky Wright against Paul Williams. The high guard didn't work, okay? I'm telling you to move your head in different things so that you can be more elusive, make more money in the long run, bro. It's about technical skills. It's not about hating. I want everybody to get paid. But if you're not moving your head, as a boxer, I'm going to say, hey, you're not moving your head or you're not using more than one jab. For example, this is just the one jab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not jabbing, jab, hook. Then you're not jab, up. Then you're not jab, body. Then you're not jab, faint. you just going like this. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. I'm, talking, I'm here to talk about technical skill. And that was just quick. Technical skills pay the bills, all right? Athleticism is secondhand in boxing. Skills come first. All right, nah, man, that's it for today, y'all. We just wanted to go over some comments, you know what I mean, on some of these clowns that, that don't know, really know what they're talking about. Um, Even though this video seemed like I'm attacking people and I'm not. I'm just saying, man, don't create false narratives because you're being like the exact channel that you're, that you're trying to, or, or networks or mass media 
that you're trying to work against. Keep it neutral. When you black, just keep it neutral. You can be unbiased, bro. Because everybody is biased against my culture first and my people. That's a fact. So we don't have to like think about that. That's not a conspiracy. We know that. We know that. We know that. So we don't have to go on and on about that. I'm a lot. I could say Josh Taylor can beat a black fighter and, and give technical reasons. I'm not talking down on black fighters, dog. I'm a black fighter. And I'm not, so it is just pointless, dog. It's just pointless. So um, that was it for today. Look, don't hate, show love, eat right, comment, subscribe, tune in. I'm getting a studio done outside. I just moved, so we just going with this background for now. Uh, once that's over with, we're going to be in a studio. It's going to be looking completely different. You know, I'm getting equipment and getting things done right now. If you want to donate, hit the um, the cash app, dollar sign, Cuerno de Chivo with a K. Uh, if you want to hit the Venmo, let's see. I'll show you the Venmo real quick and the cash app. We, on, we out here. I'm out here to have fun with this. Hit that Venmo. Or the cat, that's that cash app right there. We gonna go to that Venmo real quick, my brethren. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Venmo, bam. We gonna go here. Hit that Venmo one time. You can see at Cuerno de Chivo with the K again. We got a little 75 in that Venmo. You know, you can hit the PayPal if you want to hit the... Hey, listen. I got it all, dog. You can hit the PayPal. At Killertainment LLC. And we working, man. Shout out to the squad. Shout out to the Garlic Butter Gang. Um, my Garlic Butter Gang members, they can do... They do whatever they want, but... You a member of the Garlic Butter Gang when you keep it 100. Like my man Black Horse, Pauls, um, and like a couple other guys, you know what I mean? We just give out those Garlic Butter Gang awards, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm the Garlic, we give out the Garlic Butter Gang Gangster Gratitude Award, you know what I mean? So just in case y'all didn't know that. Um... But we out, man. That was it. It was just a quick a quick video. We've been on for how long? A little quick 30 minute. You know what I mean? You know, just 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 tune in to the playback gang. We out.